Hey there, my name is Chaos and thank you for joining me on the Retro Game Couch. Now recently Rampage and I did a video on the Nintendo Game Boy and we concluded that the best Game Boy to play all your favorite Game Boy games on is the Game Boy Advance SP, the AGS 101 model. This plays all your favorite games and has the best backlit screen. But it also has one big downside, its shape. It's, it's really bad, it doesn't play well. So that started to make me think, what if I could combine this screen with this Game Boy? This would be the ultimate Game Boy for me. So we're gonna try to do that in this video. So, let's go. So what do we need to build the best Game Boy in the world? We need a Game Boy Advance SP, AGS 101, for its fancy backlit screen. We obviously need a Game Boy Advance for its parts and its case. I bought an aftermarket case on eBay for this mod. We also need a converter cable because the Game Boy Advance SP screen cannot be connected to the Game Boy Advance mainboard by default. There are 40 and 32 pin versions of this converter cable available depending on which version of the Game Boy Advance you have. Open the battery cover of your Game Boy Advance and look at the serial on the mainboard. If it starts with a 1, then your GBA has a 32 pin screen connector. If it starts with a zero, like mine, then your GBA has a 40 pin connector. Let's start by opening up the Game Boy Advance SP. The bottom part comes up fairly easy. To open the screen part, we need to remove those rubber caps because the screws holding the top part together are under them. So, there is the screen we need. Let's continue by removing the mainboard. Remove the screws and unplug the flat cable of the screen. One last screw holds a part of the hinge together and after removing it we can separate the screen completely. Next, let's open up the Game Boy Advance. Then disconnect the ribbon cable of the screen. Now we remove the screws holding the mainboard. Using a flat hat screwdriver, gently wiggle some room between the screen and the case and it should come off fairly easy. If you're going to use your original Game Boy Advance case, this is also a great time to give everything a thorough cleaning. The protection layer of the Game Boy Advance SP screen can be peeled off. Just start in one of the corners and gently peel it off. Placing it in the Advance case reveals it won't fit by default. We need to trim off some of the plastic to make room for the new screen. I used a sharp knife and cut away the plastic bit by bit. And then polished away the rough edges with some very fine sanding paper. This job is probably a lot easier with better tools. Now the screen fits. Connect one side of the converter cable to the screen and the other side to the main board.
Now all that is left is soldering this one wire to feed the backlight of the screen. We solder it to the top left leg of DA2. Another place could be the top of capacitor C35. Make sure the cable is not going over any of the holes for the screws. Now it's time to put everything back together. But for me, sadly, disaster struck. And while trying to get everything to fit back into the case, the power wire broke away from the converter cable. And this was not fixable. So I went back online on eBay and found a better converter cable with adjustable brightness. Wow! Like the Game Boy Advance SP has too. But I had to wait for it to come from China again. So let's open up the Game Boy again and switch the broken converter cable for this new one. Plug the connector in the main board and then solder the wire for the backlight. Now let's test the brightness switch by connecting the screen to the converter cable. We're finally really ready to reassemble the Game Boy. Let's start by putting the mainboard back into place. The battery compartment has an opening through which we can operate the brightness switch, so let's make sure the switch is in the correct place. After placing the sides and shoulder buttons, we can close the Game Boy. Put all the screws back in and we're finally done creating the best Game Boy in the world. Well, a mod that only should have taken a few hours took me a few weeks. But I pulled it off in the end and I created the best Game Boy in the world. It is a Game Boy Advance with the backlit screen of a Game Boy Advance SP built in. And this is, well this is just really, for me, the best Game Boy in the world. It has the better shape, it has a normal jack plug for your headphones, not this proprietary crap. Games go in the top so they don't bother you when they stick out. Um, Game Boy Color games and original Game Boy games will stick out. And on this one it makes it even less um, fun to play and this is just well it's just a great little mod and it's an easy mod it took me a while because I do not have the proper tools and my converter cable broke as you've seen in the video but it's really not a difficult mod and I highly recommend this one I'm really happy that I can add this one to my collection and um, well I say that at the end of almost every video now so uh, I hope you liked uh, this video. If you did, please subscribe and leave me a like. And for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch.